Hey, what is up guys? My name is Tobias and welcome to my YouTube channel. How are you guys doing today? Let's just take a quick minute to go down to the comments below and just let me know how you're doing today. And today I have a new microphone review for you guys by a brand called Woked. I think that's how you pronounce it. Let me show you guys real quick. That is it right there. I think that's how you pronounce it, Woked. But this is the Amazon page and I will have this Amazon page linked down in the description of this video in case you wanna check it out for yourself. And if we look right here on my desk inside this mysterious looking unmarked box lies the microphone. And just real quick, as you can see, it goes for $52.99. And then I just noticed that there's this little coupon button right there where you can get an additional $5 off. I've never seen that before on Amazon. And as you can tell, it's one of those arm stand condenser microphone bundle packs. And if you know me, I love these kind of microphone bundle packs. I think they're so cool. I've reviewed several of them so far, so I'm pretty excited to see how this one is. And just really quick before we get started, guys, if you guys like this video or if this video helps you out, I would really appreciate it if you went down there and gave this video a like. That would help me out tremendously. And if you would like to see more videos by me in the future, make sure you go down there and hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell notifications button. And let's go ahead and continue. As usual, I will be doing a quick unboxing followed by a demonstration followed by a review. All right guys, check it out. This is everything that came inside the box. Let's go ahead and start from the right and we'll just go through what we got. First, we have the user guide right there and right below that we have the shock mount. And I've seen a lot of shock mounts that are exactly like this. You squeeze these ends like this. It opens up, you stick the microphone inside and it clamps around it. Right next to that, we have a pop filter and it's a double screen pop filter. To the left of that, we have a little clown nose wind muff type thing for your microphone to go over the top of the microphone. And just below that, we have the clamp that clamps onto your desk. To the left of that, we have the arm stand. Right above that, we have the actual microphone itself. And I gotta say guys, it feels pretty lightweight compared to other microphones like this that I've tested. Um, generally, I like to see microphones that are a little bit heavier, but you know, we'll have to go ahead and see how this one sounds. And to the left of that, we have the USB microphone to connect the microphone to the computer. It looks like the desk clamp can open to a maximum of about two and a quarter inches, uh, actually just slightly under two and a quarter. So let's go ahead and set this up and we'll test it out. All right guys, so I got the microphone set up. So just an interesting thing about the microphone is that on the microphone itself, there was no like markings on it to indicate where the front of the microphone is, where the back of it is, there's no logo on it or anything. But when I plugged the microphone in, I noticed that a blue light inside the microphone um, turned on. I'm kind of thinking the side with the light on it is probably the front, so I probably have it backwards right now. So let me just go ahead and turn it around. All right, so now I can see the light. So I'm guessing that's gonna be the front. I guess we're just gonna have to see. So inside your computer or recording software or whatever you're using, the microphone will show up as YX-1. All right guys, so I just tested the microphone and I was right, the side that has the blue light, that is the front of the microphone. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to switch over to the audio of this microphone so you guys could hear it as well. I'm going to be monitoring the audio directly with headphones so I could hear how it sounds as well. And then I'll give you my final review on the mic. So the next audio that you hear will be coming from this microphone right here. One, two, three. All right guys, so now the audio that you are hearing is coming from this microphone right here. Um, so right off the bat, so by the way, I am listening to this audio with headphones right now so I can hear exactly how it sounds. I'm hearing exactly what you're hearing. I'm recording into Logic Pro X. And just off the bat, I can hear like this underlying tone, like it's like, like you guys could probably hear it too. If you don't hear it, I'd recommend. For some reason, I'm experiencing a huge 
delay while monitoring the audio, it's really a nightmare. Um, okay, I'm going to have to stop recording because monitoring, software monitoring is literally impossible right now. I need to stop. So I had to stop that recording because what ended up happening is it was a little hard to explain while I was recording But what happened is there started to become like a huge delay in what I was recording and what I was hearing So I would say something it would get recorded But I wouldn't hear it in my headphones until like another like two seconds later And it just became impossible to like focus on what I was saying I've experienced this with one other um, condenser microphone um, Very similar to this one. It was also one of these microphone bundle kits and I experienced that delay as well. And I think what the problem is, is that inside the microphone, there has to be like a sound card, pretty much like a miniature audio interface that allows you to record into your computer. And I think they just use a really low quality one and it causes that like delay to happen. And for around the price of this one, I believe it was like $52. Um, let me just check real quick. Yeah, $52.99. I just feel like you can get a much higher quality microphone for that price. Like, I've reviewed several by the brands uh, Toner and Moono. Both Toner and Moono are good microphone bundle kits that are just, like, like you know, the same setup with the arm stand and the, and the condenser microphone. Same exact setup but a higher, a much higher quality microphone. And if you are in the market for a microphone like this, I definitely recommend that you check out those two brands. Those are two brands that I have had a really good experience with. Down in the description below, I'll go ahead and put a couple links to a couple of those reviews that I've done by Toner and also Moono. But as far as this one goes, I can't recommend it just because it's impossible to monitor your audio as you're recording. And then also there is that underlying uh, noise the entire time it was like ah, that that constant noise but if it wasn't for those two things I actually thought that my voice sounded pretty good like what was being recorded it was just that there was that underlying noise the entire time and then you know it was impossible to monitor the audio while I was recording so anyways guys I hope this video helped you guys out if it did or if you like this video I'd really appreciate it if you went down there and gave this video a like I'd appreciate that so much I'm trying to do at least one or two microphone reviews a week and if you'd like to see more videos by me in the future make sure you go down there and hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell notifications button and I'll talk to you guys in my next video peace